a style. Hand position. Hand position. A lot of the things we'll be flipping in the air are very light generally. Your stainless, uh, straws, garnishes, even bottles necessarily are not that heavy uh, unless, unless they're full. It's not a strength thing, it's finesse. All right? So a lot of times I'm using just the fingertips. For instance, the move I just showed you for the behind the back, I don't actually throw it generally. I have a light hand position, I bring it up, and I just I let go because right? I don't want to change the angle. Now watch how Scotty does this. He's got his fundamentals down. He gets to the top of his arc, and now he's just going to show you that all he's doing is taking his hand away. He's just really light fingertips here. So now in the full move, as soon as he gets to the top, his hand comes away, and he watches it all the way down as far past his shoulder as he can. Two things here to watch. One, the angle of the stainless never changes. From top to bottom, it's, it's upright the entire time. And Scott eases his body from forward to back. Right, so it's very light. I'm just bringing it up, have it come back. It's a very, very simple move. Right, now, if I put any strength into it, chances are I'm going to over-rotate. Right, so hand position is very, it's very important. Same thing for, like, say, the glassware. Right? For the most part, say, if it's, if it's like this, and if you can get a shot of this a little closer, when I do uh, any kind of flipping off of the bar, I don't generally have a big, strong grip like this, I want to have my fingertips on the edge. Now, just kind of fade back a little bit. All right, that allows me to get more of a snap on it. Okay, so fingertips are very important, hand position. 